When you first turn the PD Dante on, you will be presented with the home screen. On the home screen, you will find 64 cells, which indicate the 64 Dante channels coming into the PD Dante. On each cell, you have a channel number, the Dante channel name, a signal level meter if there is signal present, and its routing, indicated by either a left or a right pointing speaker. From the home screen, if we select a cell, we will see a channel pop up where we will see a signal level meter, options to route to the left and the right, or any combination thereof. We can clear any set overloads, we can solo the signal to listen to it, and we can enable or disable channel focus. Using the arrows, we can step through to the next cell or back to the previous cell. Pressing the X will close the window. Also on the home screen we find the main volume control, which is controlled like so. Beneath the volume control we have the two main meters indicating the currently selected channel mix. At the top of the screen we have indicators to show the status of the primary and secondary port and the currently set clock speed for the device. The name of the device appears in this top bar here. We have a mute button, we enabled by a simple touch, and then we have various menu buttons down the side. Pressing the memory button takes us to the memory page where we have eight available memories. This allows you to create and save your routings for regular work that you might want to achieve with the PD Dante. For instance, we can see in this demonstration that we have a routing for iTunes and a simple routing for a multi-track from Logic, which if we recall, go back to the home screen, you will now see the Logic routing. If I go back to the menu and recall the iTunes, you can see we now just have the two channels from iTunes routed. It's very easy to name and change memories within the PD Dante. Select a memory, select edit name, and then use the keyboard to re rename the memory. To change a routing within a memory, go to the main page, select the routing you desire, go back to the memory, and it's a select the memory you want to edit, and click Save. Also on the memory page, we have the Auto Recall button. When selected, the title will change to red in the memory. When the PD Dante is first turned on, it will automatically recall this memory. The next button we come to is the Dante menu. When you press the Dante menu, you will see a list of all the currently connected Dante devices in your network. The buttons here allow you to scroll up and down when the network is, consists of more than eight devices. Simply press the device you wish to look at and then you can view the receive channels and any name assigned to them, or the TX channels and any name assigned to them. Alternatively, we can select a device, in this case the PD Dante, say set routing, select the channels we want to route, select next, pick where we want these to be routed to, Notice that it automatically fills in however many channels we selected on the previous step. Press root and this right routing is now subscribed. The next button we come to is the setup channels. This allows us to change the settings for all channels. For instance, we can route all odd to left, all even to right. And when we go back to the main screen, we will see that we've routed all odd to left and all even to right. We can clear all the overloads of any set overloads on the meters. We can also route all to left or all to right or clear all the routing to take the Dante back to PD Dante back to an empty routing. In addition, we have the ability to turn all focus off, all focus on. Pressing focus all active 
will set all currently routed channels to have their focus enabled, as demonstrated here. Pressing the focus button will dim any channels that do not have their focus set, as I demonstrate here. Pressing the mix button will put the PD Dante into the listen mode. Selecting a cell will solo that cell. Pressing another cell will cancel the previous cell and select the new cell. Press solo clear to clear it back down. Press the listen button again to put it into listen hold mode. This functions more like a traditional audio mixing console where selecting a cell will solo the signal, selecting another cell will add that signal to the first cell, and so on. Solo clear will again clear all selected solos. Press the listen hold button again and we will rotate round back into mix mode. 